couple of Cove players now trying to cause a bit of a shield in front of Harrington so that he doesn't see this one until it's too late danger early on for Longford Town and they went for the low one Cove saved easily in the end but he's played that into a dangerous area of the pitch Wilson were wary looking to get on it now for Ramblers Harrington slipped you mentioned the possibilities for that and it was almost the goalkeeper that was caught out Aaron yeah for sure but uh, I think both sides kind of uh, kind of living off scraps at the minute kind of a lot of oh. and that one's under him Stacey's had to come out and Stacey did extremely well he was being charged down by Whitmer Hello, man. Brendan Fahill Fahill excuse me and Justin Iguabor big targets from this long throw you'd imagine he's a long way away from the penalty area yeah. Brown let's see what he's got that's not bad at all oh. and that could have gone absolutely anywhere the header from Elworthy towards his own goal it's gone behind for a corner now for Cole from the throw in you might remember Rory Delap when he was in his prime there was a, I can't remember what team it was but the goalkeeper knocked it out for a corner instead of knocking yeah. it out for a throw in they yeah. didn't want to face that long throw in and Brown here Looking to put Longford Town under pressure with a long throw in into the penalty area and a header on goal and Harrington got down low to save. It's a good save from the young goalkeeper. Next piece of yep. skill. Good defender again from Louis Temple. Good piece of defending again from Louis Temple. Kyle O'Connor under immense pressure here and he was crowded out of it. But Rambler's unable to get the ball out of that congested part of the pitch. McGarson goes down. That's a clear shove in the back from Rams skipper Jason Abbott. Whitmarsh looking for the quick build and wait for runners to come from midfield and try and build an attack but he's, he's, he's not getting the ball into himself at all so far again the communication out there from Longford isn't great at times that ball there was no Ramblers player going to get onto that one a shot on goal as a result through Mikey Rowe but two Longford Town players either one of them could have took control of it but instead of defensive header when they were doing it let's see what Duna can do now hasn't been in this position too often where he's one-on-one -on -one with the full-back and he's beaten his man as well Dune has done extremely well hangs one up at the back post for Shane Elworthy strike on goal from Elworthy Longford have it again through Duna Duna, it's opened up for the shot Duna with the curling effort never really threatening Lee Stacey's goal though O'Connor that's a good ball to find Duna and O'Connor's made a good run inside Duna continues to carry gives it to Matawi he's under pressure immediately from Wilson Waweru Matawi into Whitmarsh Whitmarsh that's good play from him but there might be just too much on that one and that's good refereeing there was a late tackle there on Whitmarsh the referee's going to bring it back and this is a free kick Kyle O'Connor also standing over it just to perhaps give Stacey something else to think about Mikey Rowe staying up front occupying Matawi and Elworthy have stayed at home for Longford everyone else is forward here three man wall for Rams Duna does go for, sh for goal and Stacey made a little bit of a meal of it you'd have to say it was Christian McGarson hoping it but Cove haven't committed too many players forward on this counter attack this is good dribbling from Holland there was a foul off the ball this referee he's not missing a trick at the moment he's um, spotted the off the ball foul on Wilson Waweru and I think Aaron Walsh is going to go into the referee's notebook as a result it looks like Walsh may have pulled Waweru to the ground off the ball yeah, and fine there and it's just as well that the, the ball didn't reach them it might now it might now is right Keen Brown lining this one up Frahel and Egwabor at the front post it's in towards there as well Harrington's come he didn't get much on it it's in the back of the net it's Wilson Waweru with his ninth goal of the season young Jack Harrington it's a difficult time and that's a good ball back to the town captain Whitmarsh to Gurji Gurji floats the cross in McGerson almost got in between the two centre halves ball breaks the wheel of O'Connor he's got Dune outside him he goes for the cross himself great ball there's a header on goal from Christian McGerson but it flashes wide yeah look encouraging though the Aaron Walsh oh. and Waweru and Harrington go up for it together not sure who really came out on top but there to clear up the loose ball is Temple Temple's Porns is a clear one though Waweru Waweru gets it back Waweru squares it oh it's a poor clearance and this is a chance for Phillips good pair of hands from Harrington huge let off for Longford Town they're tying themselves maybe you're just looking for James Dune to settle on it it's a really good ball from Josh Gurgey over the top and it's that point we relax on it try and get some numbers up in support Mikey Rowe Waweru's free inside if you can find him it was in towards Waweru just over his head but backing it up here is Holland 
It's just very slow to get back started, you know. Look how deep Christian McGarson yeah, I was is. Gonna say. Ball over the top, though. It's not a bad idea here into Whitmarsh. This is where Whitmarsh wants to be. Good hold up play from Whitmarsh, but Egwibor is keeping him honest. Ooh. Yeah, you have to be careful there, Egwibor. He had to win the ball. He was right inside his own penalty area. And out to Brendan Frahill, who just puts his boot through the ball. Up towards Mikey Rowe. Rowe absolutely smashed in the air by Walsh, but it was a totally fair challenge from the town centre half. That's what you want to see from your defenders. As Duna flashes the ball into the Ramblers' penalty area. And that oh. has to be a penalty, indeed it is. Absolutely. Longford Town give away a penalty here, of course, on Sunday against St. Patrick's Athletic, but they have just... Marsh is having to wait a long time, but he's not been hurried. He hasn't placed the ball on the spot yet. So he hasn't been standing over this one, thinking about it. He puts the ball down now. Whitmarsh, he's put it wide! Oh. And that sums up long for... So many positions is a huge plus for any team. Yeah, I think the centre of the park could be the place for him because he's got real direct running power, Booty F. Mm -hmm. Will wear out. He's managed to turn. Uh, Will wear out. Good pace here. He drives into the Longford Town penalty area. Longford have to be careful. Will wear his cross. Was in towards Mikey Rowe. He thought he was getting a tap in, but it's excellent defending at the back post. Good tracking back from O'Brien. Longford Town thought they should have had a free kick, but nothing given by the referee. Daly to take this throw in into Booty Aff. It skipped up on Booty Aff. Did well to take it down. Nice little turn as well. And a ball into the path of Wickstead. Just behind Wickstead, but he gets the cross into the area. Stacey gathers it, though. At first half, once again, Edward Ward's kind of gone into that little hole for anything, any flick-ons. Brown towards the front post. Good defending, though, from Christian McGarson. Abbott with a shot on goal, couldn't get much purchase on it. A couple of players have stayed in here for Ramblers Row and Wawaru. And there's a shot from Holland, what an effort. Great technique. Just flashes by the left-hand post. A 2 nil lead now. They'd be well on their way to a big three points in the Midlands as the ball's floated into the Longford Town penalty area. Town had more numbers at the back post though, so they can defend it first time around. But another phase of attack coming now from Cove. But Brown's pass forward's an inaccurate one. A rare chance for Longford to break through Budiaf and he's body checked by the captain Jason Abbott and Abbott likewise this is better from Longford here's Booty Aff who has been one of the few bright lights in this second half for the home side Daly vicious cross but nobody able to get on the end of it McGarson was inquiring about it but he couldn't reach it they've committed lots of players forward here Abbott up towards Equibor. It's a good defensive header though from Louis Temple. Looks like he's offside there. Wilson Waweru flag stays down. Waweru hooks it back across goal. Mikey Rowe got his head on it. But the angle was tightening all the time. But it's another let off for Longford Town, Aaron. From Aaron Walsh. Equibor, a bit of an up and under header from him. Armstrong maybe could have taken that down, but again, nobody told him. McGarson winning his header, but nobody there to get on the end of it. And Waweru here. Oh, was absolutely clattered by Harrington. The goalkeeper looks to have won the ball fairly to me, but that was and that is a lovely turn from Terence O'Brien. O'Brien trying to pick out Mikey Rowe. Good reading of the game from Elworthy. Fullback stepping into the centre back position to win the ball for Longford. This is the ball up towards Jordan Adeyemo. Adeyemo plays it across the six-yard box. He was looking for Ola, but there was just too many obstacles in between Ola. <laughs> Back across the six-yard box, and he's hoping there's a teammate there. Stepping forward is Aaron Walsh receiving the throw-in from Gergi. Here's Budiaf. Daly wants it outside, but Budiaf cuts inside. Budiaf shoots from a long way out. Plenty of venom in it. Ready. Armstrong. Again, Cove doing a great job of turning the Longford Town players and forcing them to face their own goal when they receive possession. But Longford have managed to get the ball further up the field now to Derek Daly. Daly gets it to Budiaf on the overlap. Booty Aff still going here. He's won a corner. On Sunday, where all the drama really started. It was in around now that Booty Aff got the equaliser a few minutes later. Then Longford gave away the penalty, the two red cards. Longford Town fans just want something to cheer here. They've had very little to get behind this evening. Booty Aff, good idea. Looking for Adeyemo. Great defensive header from Brendan Frahill. Doherty. 
A little bit of head tennis breaking out here. Phillips into the path of Dory first time off the left foot. Hits the side net and Gordon Adeyemo. Nice flick around the corner for Wickstead. Wickstead will get another go at this. Decent cross off the left foot. The two Adeyemos are in after it. Ball breaks the way of Daly. Here's Boudiaf. We know what he wants to do. It's Boudiaf off the left. And it looks like it's come off all at um, Adeyemo. It's going to be a goal kick to Cove. Individual brilliance from Boudiaf a moment ago. You know what he's going to do when he gets the ball in that situation. Make the half the yard for the, the strike. That's better from Armstrong. Brings the ball down quickly. Gets it out to Elworthy. More decisive from the town number 10. As Elworthy bursts forward for Longford Town. Looking to play a captain's role. Losing his foot and inside was Ola. But he's still... Oh sorry, it was Jordan. He's still almost cushioned.